So this is me and my dad here when I was a babe. I think I was not even a year there. And then here's my dad when he was young. Love this picture of him so much. He looks so happy. Love it. And this is my mom and dad. My dad being a goofball, singing to my mom. And then this was the last picture of me and my mom when she was at my graduation. My name is Zeph Mitchell and I am a collage artist. I choose collage because the art and the pictures and the illustrations that I find, I find a pleasure that it's almost like a treasure hunt. I'm looking for specific pieces. They inspire me in some sort of way. They instill some sort of feeling in me. When I kind of bring all these different pieces together to create this one piece that's my own, it, it just makes me feel, it makes me feel good. It makes me feel happy. I actually use a lot of um, vintage piano sheet music as well in my art. So I always come here for that as well. And they always stack them all together. I recognize a lot of them. Um, my mom would hum, whistle, or, or sing some of these songs, so I recognize a lot of them. Same with my dad. These are a, whole, a few of my originals, um, pieces that I've bought from the Blue Jar Antique Mall and have used in my art. Um, they've actually let me bring it here and, and sell it here now, which is so, so cool. This piece here um, was an old piece of piano sheet music. The, one of the lyrics in this is, wherever you go, whatever you do, I want you to know. I'm following you. And it's kind of symbolic of just that our, our mortality is always kind of behind our shoulder. It's always following us no matter what. It's just a step away. I do have a lot of death um, imagery in my art. Um, because I have had a lot of loss in my life, I was 25 years old when my mom died. And the next day, it was my 26th birthday, and on that day I was, was when I became an orphan. My mom, dad, and both of my brothers had passed. So it was a lot of loss in like a uh, five year range. I lost my entire family and I, you can't even put into words how I felt or how I was supposed to feel or what I was feeling at the time because it was just so much. When I get a magazine and I open it, Nostalgia just fills my room of just old, vintage. It makes me think of my mom and dad and my brothers. My mom and I would go to the Wee Book Inn when I was younger, and just the smell of old books reminds me of my mom. And I just remember that smell, and, and I'm flipping through those magazines. It just it's something that's comforting to me. I just learned this term from a friend, and it's called memento mori, which means remember death. And it's the actual practice of um, keeping your mortality to the forefront so you can kind of live your life to the fullest and kind of living, um, just living in the, kind of in the present at, at all times to kind of make you appreciate your life a little bit more. Our society views death as something that's taboo. It's kind of unknown and sort of scary, so they kind of just put it away. I've kind of just I've realized that death is something that people need to talk about and to kind of become more comfortable with, to kind of walk, almost like walk hand in hand with it because it's gonna to happen to all of us. And so that's one of the main reasons why I put it into my art is to kind of almost create that discussion, um, to have that imagery It has made me appreciate the people and the things and myself so much more. And just to not take anything for granted, nothing. To not take living for granted. I think my mom and dad would be very proud. I wish that they could be here to see what I've created. 
You might think it's a little b bizarre and weird, but it's me and I know they would be very proud.